welcome to defense news plus as per news from reputed sources infiltration bids have increased along india pakistan borders this year from the neighboring country pushing militants and smugglers into indian territory to spread terrorism as well as growing illegal drug and arms trade some of the militants and smugglers managed to sneak into indian territory with the help of pakistan's inter services intelligence although majority of those attempts either failed or a few of them were napped by the patrolling troops along the 3323 km long border with pakistan a maximum of 23 infiltration bids is seen along the punjab frontier 10 in jammu frontier five attempts in rajasthan area and one each through kashmir and gujarat 40 infiltration bids are failed this year while 11 attempts were made during the year of 2020 the bsf foiled 23 such attempts and also napped 17 infiltrators while trying to enter into indian territory these infiltration attempts were orchestrated by pakistan's isi at the time when the pandemic hitting humanity and the economy at its worst phase ever in this year infiltration has increased eight times higher compared to previous year next update as per news from india today dornier transport aircraft of the indian air force was faced a minor accident on sunday evening the aircraft caught fire upon landing at the main runway of the indira gandhi international airport on sunday evening the iaf said the crew and the aircraft are safe investigations would be carried out to find out the cause of the accident a fire was observed on the wheel of the iaf dornier 228 the airport's rescue and fire fighting services responded promptly at the site and extinguished the fire on the wheel of the airliner a twin turboprop short takeoff and landing utility aircraft dornier 228 can accommodate 19 passengers including two pilots Hindustan Aeronautics Limited manufactured Dornier 228 in partnership with Swiss company RUAG Aerospace next update the Indian Navy has installed a medical intensive care unit to evacuate critical patients in unfavorable weather conditions on board in advanced light helicopter at was naval air station ins hansa the medical intensive care unit has been fitted on board alh mk3 at ins hansa by hindustan aeronautics limited the medical intensive care unit has two sets of defibrillators multi paramonitors ventilator oxygen support and infusion and syringe pumps the navy spokesman said it also has a suction system to clear secretions in the mouth of the patient the system can be operated on aircraft power supply and also has a battery backup of 4 hours the equipment can be installed in 2 to 3 hours to convert the aircraft into an air ambulance next update biden has taken the trump team's efforts forward to revive the quad dialogue among the us india australia and japan in the first ever quad summit in march the pandemic has brought quad countries together to strengthen india us strategic relations the recognizing of the quad clearly demonstrate the need for a stronger us india cooperation looking at the chinese aggressive agenda in the indo pacific region the director of the indo pacific security program at the center for a new american security lisa curtis said it is in the us interest for india to remain the dominant power in the indian ocean region and to continue to make progress with its military modernization in the first four months of the biden administration the us has imposed sanction on chinese officials over human rights concerns in xinjiang and hong kong agreed with the trump administration that the human rights abuses against the uighur kept in place tariffs on chinese goods and sanction on chinese companies lifted restrictions on diplomatic engagement with taiwanese officials and carried out naval drills in the south china sea the us also support the status quo in taiwan and has criticized china for provocative frequent infiltrations taiwan airspace 
US intelligence agencies intensified investigations into the origins of the coronavirus. The Biden team is putting more emphasis on working with allies and partners to cope with the Chinese challenge. The Quad started taking shape and heading forward to fulfill its purpose of the open, free, transparent and rules-based order that facilitates trade, economic and political development in the Indo-Pacific region. That's it for today. If you like our work then please hit the like button, share this video and do subscribe this channel to get the notification of the next video. Thank you.